<laughs> we ready to roll? Three, two, one. Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome right here to the Phoenix and Boys Center, right here March 1st, 2014. Great, great news, great update, and uh, we just want to say God is always good, and he bring people right on time, you know? So first of all, I would like to uh, interview this great young lady right here who's... Um, Finna donate her time and uh, her company's time to replacing the roof here at the Phoenix Boys and Girls Center. So without further ado, we're going to bring on the mic. How you doing, young lady? And tell the people what's good. <laughs> God is good. <laughs> yeah, my name is Irma Lopez, and um, I am an owner of Irma's Roofing Inc. And um, like I said, I'm willing to do uh, the repair um, for the roof. Uh, as a donation for this gym. I know it's going to bring a lot of kids in, so um, my pleasure to do it. Amen. And we're going to go right over all the way to my left to my cousin, Kelly Finn. Cuz, how do that make you feel right here on March 1st, 2014? We finally got somebody that done kept it real. Well, all I have to say is um, my dad spent the last 30 years patching the roof, so and he was 89 years old when he died, and he was still up there patching, climbing on the ladder, patching the roof. So he would be so excited, and I know he's looking and smiling down. And uh, we really appreciate, I mean, it's going to be a blessing, a big blessing to have this roof fixed finally. So um, we thank you. And then, and we want to, we, we, we'll give back to her too. So she's going to find things for our community, our center, and Streets Don't Love You Back things to do for her and her church and so it's a like a nice circle Amen. without further ado i'm gonna go over to my beautiful queen kelly finn's first cousin and uh she's gonna speak her mind on how she feel on this great moment and once again it's her family you know and uh, uncle al was her uncle and uh, she's ready to speak on her speak all right, thank you. Yeah, we're really excited, and, and you know, we've been looking for somebody to fix the roof for, well, four years since since myself and, and Rob have been working with Kelly. Um, so, you know, there's a, been a lot of champions come through this gym, a lot of professional boxers, amateur boxers, um, you know, and my uncle opened this gym back in 1965, um, a free gym for the community to help kids get off the streets, to stay away from the, the, the gangs and the drugs and to have a safe place to come and work out. And so, you know, it's just a continuation of his dream and his legacy and the Finn family um, name to continue his legacy and uh, to continue and uh, make more opportunities and new dreams for, uh, you know, the community. There's still a lot of people in the community that need a place to go, and uh, we're right here to help educate them, help train them, help teach them um, in several different um, aspects. So we're excited. We're excited uh, for Rob and I, as the founders of The Streets Don't Love You Back, to work with Kelly, the, the Phoenix Boys and Girls Center, and uh, a lot of other people who are behind the scenes right now, but you'll sh soon see them. And um, you know, we have a lot of great things coming out of the Phoenix Boys Center. Um, we have several professional boxers that are here right now. Um, Victor Castro uh, is out of this gym. He will be fighting in uh, Vegas April 4th for a title. And uh, we have a lot of young, um, awesome kids that are doing really great things. So, you know, we're going to fix the roof. We're going to expand it a little bit, uh, get it fixed up, and. Uh, the sky's the limit. Come check it out, the Phoenix Boys and Girls Center. Amen. And you heard that from my beautiful wife and queen, uh, like I say, which is Kelly Finn, first cousin. We're doing great things here at the Phoenix Boys and Girls Center. And uh, it's a lot going on behind the scenes. It's a lot of great people behind the scenes working with us that don't want to be exposed just yet. But it's going down, you know, finally, you know. God done brought some people and they ready to do good things. They ain't ready to talk. They ready to put in work. So that's a great, great thing for 2014. And like uh, Cuz said, Uncle Al smiling like, wow, somebody finally hear my call, you know, at what I've been doing for many, many years to help keep the kids off the street. And we got somebody like this great young lady right here that slid in that my man, well, I can't say his name, that found this young lady and brought her to the organization. But you will hear his name a lot ringing through the Phoenix and Boys and Girls Center. But right now he's low key, 
and it's all going down. So we want to just say and give everybody their last few words. But once again, like my queen said, don't forget our boy Victor Castro that fight out of the Phoenix and Boys Girls Center, fight April 4th in Las Vegas for the WBC lightweight title belt, and it's going down. And don't forget our boy Alexis, baby. He on his way to be a champion as well, and he also fights out the Phoenix Boys and Girls Center. So everybody's last words before we depart. For me, it's just uh, thank you so much. It's, uh, it's like a great opportunity for me to do something great for the community, too. Amen. So they have given me a lot of things, so now it's back. Amen. Amen. We just want to say thank you. You know, God always puts the right people in the right place at the right time. And, uh, you know, we're all right now in the right place at the right time. And we're working together to make big things happen. So keep an eye on the Phoenix Boys and Girls Center. Um, I think once the roof is done, we need to get all climb on ladders and get up there and do another interview on the roof. <laughs> and to because it, it, it's a big deal, believe me. We thank you so, so much. Thank you. Boy, you heard that from Cuz, baby. Cuz said, look, after that roof get did, baby, we, we want to have you screaming from the rooftop, baby. She, she wants you to get a bullhorn and bring up the camera for she can just scream right across Arizona. And like they say, she going to be saying, finally, <laughs> finally, finally. So y'all look out for that words, baby, on the finally tip. So we're going to say we over and out, and we thank God for all what he's doing with the Streets on Love You Back movement and the Phoenix Boys and Girls Center. You know, he's great, and he's definitely worthy to be praised. So we're going to say peace and love, much love to everybody here at the Phoenix Boys and Girls Center, all the coaches, Mr. George. Raphael, Armando, and our two champs. Don't forget, baby, Alexis and Victor Castro. And you, if you're missing the fight April 4th with Victor, you're going to be missing a great, great deal, baby, because he's going to put not only himself on the map, but he's going to put the Phoenix Boys and Girls Center name all the way on the map, baby, as having a world champion at the gym, where he do love the gym. Peace and love. Streets don't love you back.